a reading from Romans chapter 10 and verses 6 to 9. But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down. Or, Who will descend into the abyss? That is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Everyone from time to time asks the question, Am I saved? I think this is only natural. Now, some people compare themselves to others to thus justify themselves. That's what Paul refers to when he says, Who will ascend into heaven? Or, Who will descend into the abyss? Paul uh, encourages us, rather, to look at the integrity between what we say and what we believe. So you see, Paul knows that the Spirit of Christ lives within us and gives us the words to speak when we need them. It's a sign that the Spirit is with us, that we can confess that Jesus is Lord and at the same time believe in our heart with integrity and with sincerity that God raised Jesus from the dead. This is the sign and the assurance that we are saved. That's why I love that song, We Believe. It brings out the passion for what we truly believe and encourages us that we are indeed saved. We turn to prayer and perhaps just a few moments to reflect and to be open and honest about what we believe in in our hearts and what we are prepared to confess with our lips. Let us pray. Father God, we come before you aware that there are times when we doubt and we ask that you would be patient with us. There are times when our faith is strong and we give you thanks for those. We pray that you will continue to pour your spirit into us. Make us so aware of your presence with us that we will be constantly affirmed of our salvation and our presence with you. Send your Holy Spirit, we pray. We pray that you will continue to be with us throughout this day. In all the things that we have planned and all the things that will happen, we pray that your presence will always be with us. And we pray in the name of Christ. Amen. Go with his blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may he stir within you a sense of his presence with you always.